this is the current state of things. basic problem in this room is just too much stuff so it's spring cleaning time guys so I'm going to do this cleaning video and I'm going to clean this messy room this piled up dusty dust covered small little overstuffed bedroom <laughs> okay never mind okay well I'm just trying to put things off because We got rods, three rods given to me. Anyway, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go flip the mattress over. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can, which is probably a bad idea. I think I should stand the mattress up. When you flip your mattress or spring clean, whatever under your bed, do you wash your um, dust ruffle if you have one? Mine's not really a ruffle though, it's kind of flat. But anyway, I'm not going to wash mine. I don't want to deal with it. What I am going to do, I'm going to try to pull the bed out a little bit here. This how do we do this? <sighs> the vacuum cleaner. How do we get out of here? I'm trapped. <clears throat> Nothing like being prepared. <sighs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> wow. So, this is what it looks like under the bed. I've never <laughs> taken off the box spring so I didn't know but look this is a shoe I was looking for a couple of years ago managed to wedge itself right under there look I think we have a roommate we didn't know about living in that shoe great anyway ew pretty ew this will be interesting I'm going to organize this stuff well, I can actually see what I'm doing because the bed isn't on top of it. Alright. What did I really get myself into? Okay. You know what? Okay. We're going to start by unstuffing under the bed. Bye bye, magazines. I really don't need to keep those under here. I have other places in the house. I can keep them. Plus, I think I need to get rid of some of them. That's going. Now, I thought it would be a good idea to put like home decor type stuff under the bed. Um, I don't know. It's like it was an idea, but I don't really think it's working. I really don't think it's working. I mean, I never get into it hardly because it's a pain. So, I need to find another place to put this kind of stuff and I think it'll either be in my junk room area probably yeah that's probably where it's gonna end up being because it'll still be in the house will be convenient enough once I move out some of the stuff that's in my junk room to my new shed all right so the thing is is that I know I mean it may not have like a home to go to today but know where it's gonna go and it's not gonna be in here so I think I'm gonna take it out and just put maybe put it in a different box and use this I might need more under the bed clothes storage and I will keep the clothes under the bed because it's in the bedroom home decor and it's gonna go shoe thing uh you know what it's not my favorite but 
Um, it's what I have and I'd probably like to get a hard one so I don't have to deal with it being floppy. This little guy, whoever's living in this one's gonna get kicked out. All right, so I'm going to try to put this bed back together without smashing myself. Oh gosh. How do you flip a mattress? It's too heavy. again. <laughs> I'll do it a different time. Now I'll have to wash it. <laughs> yeah, throw well that turned out to be a job. <sighs> I found my throw pillow. All right so we got um, the bed situation dealt with so that's gonna be nice. Uh, now I am going to declutter and I said I was going to do section by section so but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do decluttering of everything except for the closet. some dusting over here I did get rid of all the clutter that was on the bottom of the dresser and on the side well let's just say there's still a little clutter under there but it's clutter that I have to sit and sort through and so I'm not taking the time to do that I was just moving the big things that I knew uh, didn't belong I didn't want to keep in here and just keeping the things that I want to keep in here at least for now and maybe to deal with later and I'm going to be cleaning my pictures and mirror so a lot more light in. This is an old 
old jewelry box that my dad gave me. I think he had, he used to clear out people's garages and stuff when I was little and do some odd jobs like that sometimes. And I think he got this from someone's house like that. He gave it to me, but I've always liked it over the years. Even though we don't really wear jewelry. I've had other little trinkety things inside. Retro's 80s clock. My mom used to have one of these. I found it at the Salvation Army and I was like, oh, I'm getting that. And it makes a loud kind of a buzzing noise and hubby doesn't like it. So I don't really have it plugged in. Drink some water. Because it's like 80 something degrees today. We're in California. Me and hubby, when we were young, <laughs> we were younger than we are now. Okay, that looks better. Is it just me, or is there anyone else that never looks up? I mean, you never see your cobwebs, right? Until they're like, whew. touch up and some holes to patch that's for sure hey guys you know what I'm going to be banging this rug against the wood and I thought you might want to watch of course, always so much I can't hardly do this Woo! this is my little rug doesn't it look comfy yeah I I like jute rugs but I can't have one so when I saw this, uh, this rug, I thought I can have my cake and eat it too. Just a baby one by my bed. Won't bother anybody else's feet. Anyway, we beat the rugs. I will vacuum. All right, so we've got kind of the bed done and this area dusted and decluttered. And so the next thing was this, this shelf. So what I would like to do is actually just paint it a bright white. And as long as it lives in here, I probably will keep the curtain. Maybe not this particular one. Oh, and believe me. Wait. I am not a seamstress. I did that with hot glue. Um, yeah, so there you go. That all stays nice and hidden. I'm not going to deal with that. What I am going to deal with, I think, is just maybe dusting off the top. I've made a lot of progress. Um, that bed, moving that bed, and oh my goodness, vacuuming that out was like a lot of work. <laughs> and then taking a lot of this clutter out away from this desk was a lot of work. I've gotten all that done, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I just have two areas left. I've got the desk area, which really irritates me because I can't figure out I don't even want the desk in here, but it kind of has to go in here right now. And I want to do something with the wall, so it just bothers me, but also there's a lot of junk piled up, and I know it's fine. I'll get it out of there. But, like, my dining room table's piled up with all the stuff from this room. <laughs> but I have, a, I have a further destination for it. It's going to go in the junk room, and we'll just sort it out from there some other day. Uh, I'll, you know, I have my little shed I'm going to be putting stuff into, so it'll all work out. And so the nice thing is, is that it's like a train, train, a train wreck. No, it is a train wreck, but it's like a chain reaction, you know, so I've got to storage, I can 
move the stuff out of here and give us a little more breathing room in here. I mean, at least it won't feel so dusty and cluttered. Um, and then it'll go to the junk room. And then at some point when the shed's done, I'll be able to figure out what I want to keep in the junk room and what I want to put in the shed. Um, the junk room is, it'll probably be like, of course, books. I have a lot of books and maybe little stuff that I use a lot, plus maybe um, sentimental things can maybe move into there. Because I got all of them in my closet right now, like everything. And my closet's really just so stuffed and so ugh, irritating. And I want curtains for it, but I don't have any curtains. I have rods. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if I'll be able to do them. I need some. Um, those hook things. <laughs> hook things. Those things. Those hook things. <laughs> Man strip hook things. You know those? You, where you can actually put your curtain rods up. So that's probably really what I just need to do. I just need to go get like four of those because I have two rods because my closet is so long and the rods are given to me so that's really cool. So the rods were free. I need to get some curtains. <laughs> And then I can hide that whole mess and Third off for now is not good as it's going to be, but I really want to do something else with this wall, so I'm really going to work on that and think about that. I'm going to do it today. I'm just going to go around and do some little touch-ups. Wish me luck. Hello? Mm -hmm. oh. Ah, after a while. Mm -hmm. 